Hey YouTube, this is Brawl of the 2895, and today I have an unboxing from evac.com. Um, this is my first unboxing, my first purchase from evac.com. I always purchased from either overseas in Asia or um, Airsoft GI. So, um, Airsoft GI didn't have any of the products that I wanted in stock. Checked over at evac, and they had pretty much everything I had in stock. So, here we go. This is a whole bunch of gear. Um, I need a few more pieces, like two or three. And then I complete my loadout, and I will do a review of that when I, once I get all my pieces. Um, I really, I haven't gone airsofting yet, but I have all my gear and everything, so I'm ready. I'm planning to go this summer, summer 2013, um, with a couple of my boys. Hopefully that all works out. Um, I want to get a Kanto camera too to record some gameplay, but that's sometime down the road. I have to get my gear first before. Right, so here we go. First thing we get when you open it up is my slip. My order slip. I'm not going to read that out loud. I'll just show you everything I got. Okay. So first thing we have is this Condor um, Tactical Commando. No, no, no. This is the... It was Condor Battle Belt. That's what it was. Um, really big, really nice mesh mesh padding. I heard good reviews about this. Um, yeah. So this will hold my dump pouch, my um, what do you call it? My pistol holster for my HK45. When I once I get that, um, it's really nice, nice high quality Molly webbing. Uh, okay, so you know it's Condor. It's very high quality stuff. Okay, she's nice and durable. The second thing we got in here is the Matrix, I believe, Gen 2 Iron Face Mask. Uh, this is a Woodland Marpad, which is my loadout. So this, I have this. Um, I have Boogie Re Regulators coming in for my, for the top, for the goggles part, and I have a Fast Helmet. Hopefully this all fits together. I heard some, some people say that they don't fit together, but I'll see if I could modify it if it really doesn't fit. So it's a nice face mask, iron face mask. Covers your nose, your cheeks, your ears, and everything. So you're pretty much covered there. Next thing we have in here is the Matrix. And Matrix hydration bladder, hydration carrier with bladder. If you guys want to know the prices for all of these, I will give I'll put them in the description. So here's the bladder. This is about a liter, I, I think. It's a liter, I believe. And here's the carrier, which has a built-in back strap, where you can also take off. Can you take this off? Yeah, I don't know if you can take this off, but if you can, I'll probably just rip it off because I don't use it. So I'm just using it for Molly, which is right here. Okay. And the last thing in here, oh, okay, let's just see this. It's a little evac.com calendar for 2013. It's pretty nice. Nice glossy finish. Okay. And the last thing we have in here is the uh, Condor. Yeah, Condor slash OE Tech um, MPS chest rig. This, uh, this this is what really got me to decide to go to Evite because Airsoft GI has been out of stock of this item for over a year now and I really needed this. Um, if you guys watched my previous unboxings, I did unbox I did unbox 10 Magpul P Mags. And this is what I got to hold them all. So this is a nice combat vest. You see it has the built-in mag pouches they said about two can, two m4 mags can fit in here but i heard some people say that three can fit if you really stretch it out so i have 10 mag no i have 11 mags one is my high high cap i have 10 mid caps and i want to get a a speed loader which is the m4 size so that's that'll be 12 mags but um yeah this thing is nice it has opening right here for like maps or anything you want nice wall molly space real estate here you could put like an admin pouch here put some more mags here anything you want flashbang pouches because it already has built-in mag pouches here on the reverse side it just has your backing which has more molly space which is what i'm going to put in my hydration pouch and yeah this is really nice this is all in od 
and everything that's not an OD, I have an RPAT. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like a USMC loadout, but not 100% true to them. Like, the colors, yes, but not the actual gear. So, don't judge me if you know it's not the same gear. I know I know what they actually use. I just didn't want that gear. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. This is Brawler2895, signing off. Later.